1223 here on this Monday afternoon across the valley and the cool temperatures are back in. Cold front moved through yesterday evening and temperatures came down overnight. Cool, cloudy conditions around and that is going to keep it uh, not so warm the next few days. The clouds and some drizzle in spots. You might see the clouds thin a little bit tomorrow if we're lucky, but I think clouds for the most part dominate the next few days. Even Thanksgiving may stay cool. I think Thanksgiving's kind of teetering right on the day where the clouds may start to break up a little bit to allow things to warm up, but it probably won't happen until Friday. But you know, if you get lucky, it might be a little warmer on Thanksgiving. But so far this month, this is interesting. We, look, we looked this up this morning, uh, Matt and I here in the morning, and we just picked Brownsville. And uh, so far for the month, we're over four degrees below normal in Brownsville, which doesn't seem to happen for an entire month in the valley very often. The last month it was colder than normal in Brownsville for an entire month was January of this year. So it's been a while and you know, most years seem to or most months seem to kind of tick up on the above normal side overall. So if we keep some cool temperatures around, we may have another cooler than normal month here finally in the valley. But so far things, uh, you know, have to keep it warm. Not too many days and we get these warm spells that uh, keep coming back here in November. But uh, cool weather for the most part will dominate the next few days here. 52 in Wesleco right now, 55 in Brownsville and in Rio Grande City. And you know what? At least it's not super windy. There's a light breeze around, but remember the cold front that went through last week? It was windy. It was colder. Uh, you know, the front that went through last night, not as strong, but it is keeping temperatures cool and the breeze is fairly light, but about 10 to 15 miles per hour from the north and northwest and the clouds are locked in, so there's no sunshine today. And this afternoon and this evening, we showed you if you are out into the evening hours, temperatures will fall through the 50s after only getting up to a high of about 58 today. But because of all the clouds, it won't be cooling much at night either. Temperatures kind of just wavering up and down through the 50s throughout tonight and most of tomorrow. You see a lot of clouds coming in. These are high clouds. The low clouds are under them. And in those low clouds, we are getting a little bit of drizzle and sprinkles around. You see over the last couple of frames here, some sprinkles start to form again over Cameron and Willsey counties. But really anywhere in the valley this afternoon, there could be some drizzle or a couple sprinkles, but no you know, significant rainfall, nothing more than a few hundredths of an inch. Cool temperatures, though, and lots of clouds today. You see by 5 p.m., still cool temperatures, maybe some spotty drizzle. And even overnight, some drizzle or sprinkles possible near the coast. But most of the night, I think, looks pretty dry. Tomorrow is a day, too, with more clouds. Future track, this might be a little um, aggressive on getting the clouds out of here. Future track tries to show the clouds thinning out almost entirely tomorrow afternoon. And I think, I think this might be a little overdone. I think we may see the clouds get a little thinner, but. I think a full afternoon of sunshine like future tracks trying to say is probably uh, not going to happen, but uh, maybe a few pokes of sunshine late tomorrow afternoon. So it could be a pretty sunset on Tuesday if we're lucky. By Wednesday, though, the clouds fill back in. There may even be a few light rain showers possible, and that keeps temperatures again from warming up very much. So the next few days we're looking for uh, temperatures to kind of hang maybe around 60 or so for highs. As, as, far as, as far as rainfall goes, check out future track for Tuesday. During the day on Tuesday, it shows almost nothing, maybe a hundredth of an inch or two in some spots and a little more along the coast through today and Tuesday by Wednesday morning. Still not much and then Wednesday tries to add up a little bit, but even still the next few days combined bring very little rain overall, maybe a few hundredths or a tenth of an inch of rain or so, but it doesn't look like much rain will be falling out of these clouds all the way through Thanksgiving Day. But rain chances still at about 50% today, meaning half the area could see the rest of today, some sprinkles or some drizzle, but very little in terms of the amount Tuesday even less than that, maybe a sprinkle here and there, but not much. And then Wednesday, we could see a few light rain showers and sprinkles, but even then, as you saw on the map, we're looking for uh, generally very light rainfall amounts. Today, lots of low grade clouds, a high of only 58 in north northwesterly wind around 10, maybe 15 miles per hour. Tonight, down to 52 degrees, it doesn't change much. And then the first 1570 forecast, temperature stayed cool again for Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs may hang right around 59 or 60 or so. And if we do see a little sun on Tuesday, it could warm temperatures a few more degrees. Thanksgiving Day, probably going to be the last of the cool days. If the clouds hold on, highs only in the low 60s and maybe a couple sprinkles or a light rain shower, but no heavy rain anywhere. And then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we start to warm up. There's actually another cold front that should be coming through Sunday to pick up the winds a bit, but the cooler air will arrive later Sunday night and Monday. We'll keep tracking your Thanksgiving week forecast and your first four and five forecast, of course, here on Channel 5 News at noon.